Hey, welcome to the lab. I'm Didier, and today we're with Francois Piriou. Hi, guys. From the Golden Promise Whiskey Bar, and we're going to talk about opening rare and old bottles. So, Francois, you're at the Golden Promise Whiskey Bar. Um, people would find you, you're the bar manager, and people will find you more on the collector's room. Yeah, exactly. You've got yeah. Two, two areas there's the cocktail area. Exactly, yes. With the modern, I guess. Yeah, the bar is divided in two different spaces. The first one is uh, more into the modern whiskey and uh, the cocktail uh, universe. Yeah, like new and releases. And yeah, exactly. And the other side is more into collector's whiskey. So we have uh, almost a thousand different bottles, a lot of okay. scotch, a lot of uh, Japanese whiskey, uh, old bottle from the late 50s to the, the mid 80s for the Italian market. A uh, couple bottles that we also sell by the bottle only. Okay. But uh, except that, uh, yeah, almost a thousand different whiskey by the glass. Okay. So for those who don't know what collectors bottles is, uh, basically they're old bottlings that were released maybe 20, 30, 40, yeah. 50 years ago. Uh, then the liquid, the juice inside, is not necessarily aged a long time in oak. They're just old bottles. Yeah. So that's what people collect. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So here we've got a couple examples. Um, so you have all these bottles, they're you know, kind of very rare and uh, they are. valuable, yeah. and some of them are quite old, like this one. Yeah. And so how do you, do you ever have any kind of problems opening them? All the time. We've been open for three years now and we have right, so many corks. Okay. So our best friend in that kind of uh, challenge uh, will be to have spare corks, like every bottle you finish just keep the cork because that will okay. definitely help you in case of a, a breaking cork. Okay. And that's good advice. <laughs> this is called parafilm, so it's usually used for uh, medicinal purpose. Uh, but as we say, whiskey is a good medicine also. <laughs> uh, so you use this to just fold around the cork, and here I'm on the fold, so it will avoid the cork to get dry, and it will just let your whiskey age uh, nice and slow. And you have less oxidation as well. Exactly, right? yes. Now we have two different kind of bottle closures here. So there's the screw cap. Yeah. Um, nothing to say really. That's the... Uh, oh, that's the whiskey drinker best friend. Okay. Yeah. Just twist it off. Yeah. However, with the uh, cork, there might be some problems. More challenging, yes. You can what either... Can happen? Uh, yeah. You can yeah. either uh, switch or just rotate the cork and you will see cracks, the topper can comes off, the cork can fall down the bottle, so there is a lot of different problems that happen that's playing that can go wrong. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see that together, what to do yeah. when that happens. We'll see. Okay, so the foam broke, so you're gonna need sharp knife to open it up. Like this. Okay, so now you're gonna turn the bottle upside down to humidify the cork with the whiskey. And you stay like this for a minute. Okay, so now you're gonna twist the bottle and the cork in opposite direction slowly and you pay attention and you see how the cork reacts. So if you have trouble twisting it in both sides, just put it upside down again for a little moment. Up again, and then you go a bit more strong. Right. Now you see it's moving. Now you're gonna pay close attention to the space between the stopper and the bottle. And right here, when you can see the cork, you have to be really careful and see how the corks react. So now, now we have to move. You're gonna look all the way around and watch if you can see any cracks. And if you have none, you just keep going. Nice and slowly, hands twisting on both sides. And you look around again. Looking for cracks. This time everything is going well. So this is how you open an old whiskey bottle. Sometimes the corks just 
broke. For let's take this uh, this bottle. So oh no, uh, the cork broke. Um, so now we're gonna have uh, we're gonna need some tool to open it. So it's pretty easy. The screw and the valve ring, as we call it. So just have to screw like you would do for a bottle of wine all the way down then you use this so doing this you make sure the cork will fall down the bottle and then you just nice and easy turn it like this so sometimes when you are a bit clumsy like me or if it's a cork is really fragile you will just try to open it and it doesn't go really well so what are you doing maybe we can also imagine that you left a couple pieces of cork on the bottle so now we're going to show you how to do the quick filtration for the whiskey. So now that you have the cork inside the bottle, you're gonna need a few things such as an empty bottle of water, clean obviously, a funnel and a strainer. It could be more easy, just empty the bottle of whiskey in the funnel. Obviously with an old bottle of whiskey I will do that a bit more slowly. That's it. Alright. And you have all the cork in the funnel. So you have to clean uh, your whiskey bottle so you won't have any cork left inside it. And then you use a smaller strainer just to make sure everything is okay. And back in the bottle. So a quick question for the comments. When you store your whiskey bottles, should you store them standing up or on their side like wine for example? Uh, if you think you know, give us an uh, answer in the comments. François, thanks for the demonstration. Thank you very much, Didier.